Hey guys, Kalsgraf here with a blended tutorial, and I'm going to teach you how to make the Minecraft diamond. Now, this will be pretty straightforward, and I'll make this as noob friendly as possible. So open up. Oop, we did that wrong. Okay, so we're gonna center this with Shift S, cursor to center. Add ourselves a good old fashioned plane. Side view, 5 key to enter orthographic, 90 degree turn. View up from the front now. Ooh, fine. Now, if <laughs> we go into tab, and we open up another window using that squiggly, straight up lines over there, whatever you want to call them. And we open the UV image editor, and then we go to plus new, that's the way I like to do it. We go to image, open image, and then we want this diamond I have. I'll hopefully be linking this to you because I got it off Google. So go over here to U, unwrap. It's unwrapped here. You can see it. You can select it. You can play with it. You can uh, eat it if you want. I, I wouldn't eat it. Please don't eat it. Um, it's just to deselect that with A. So if we come over here to this cube. Now if we go into textured mode, the diamond's on it. That's really not going to work at the moment, because there's a few things we have to take care of first. See, if we went like this right now, your diamond would be perfectly flat. And although this works, it's not really what you want to use for a movie. You want your diamond to have some depth to it. So how we go about doing this is we, go in, we select it and we go into tab mode. We subdivide a couple times. Alright, see these subdivisions? Now what we will do, is we'll go in and we'll delete these outside of the cube area. So if we delete that face, because it doesn't actually have anything on it. And you'll see why we do this in a bit here. So do we have all these faces that aren't on top of the picture? And then we want to select everything again. W, subdivide once more. C repeat the process. And we don't really want to take extra off of the diamond. Alright, faces. And I think we'll go one more time. You can keep going deeper and deeper on this. Um, depends how exactly smooth you want it or how well you want it. And we'll just do this. Now, after all, there probably are other ways of doing this. And perhaps even easier ways. But this is the way I figured out how to do it. So here we go, we'll go through, delete all of these, delete that, delete that, select that. Alright then. Delete. Faces, make sure it's faces. Alright then. That looks pretty good. Now here's why we had to do that. We need to go over to the materials tab, this little thingamajig, this ball, plus new. Oh, so that it broke. Alright, the reason it did that is because I screwed something up. Don't be alarmed. We're going to fix it. Now, once you have all this selected outside of edit mode, go to add modifiers. Solidify modifier. Now this allows you to add depth to your thing by adjusting the thickness. So we can have a really thick diamond, or we can have a really thin diamond. This will be based on the size of your character that's going to be interacting with it, in my opinion. So now if you have this, this looks pretty much like the Minecraft diamond, now doesn't it? Now if we go to render this, oh no, the texture isn't showing up. Because we're not done yet. So open up the texture tab and hit plus new. We want to open image or movie. Open your image that you used. I used the MC diamond. And then we go down to here, under coordinates, and we want UV, UV text, sorry about that, and then leave everything blank. So now if we render, we get that. Now that's not very good, for many reasons. First off, our material color needs to be black, you see. Now if we render that, it gives us the nice Minecraft black side to it. But there's a few more things we can do to this, for example... Your diamond might not be completely solid. For example, if I put this cube behind this diamond, go into zero, and then press F12, I can't see through the diamond. 
But what I can do is that by entering this material, I can edit things like the transparency of the diamond and change that so I can see the cube through the background. Or if I want to, I can add other things to this, like I can add a mirror to it. And the way that this would work would be if you wanted a really shiny diamond, perhaps. Yeah, how's that looking? So if we add that, add some reflectivity to it. Turn it on, and it's reflecting that cube in a very, very weird manner. Because I really don't know what I'm doing. But, as you can see, it's trying to reflect all the color on that cube, which is just kind of graying it out. So we'll get rid of that. That's just there if you want it. Alright then, guys. That's all there is to your very own Minecraft Diamond. It works pretty well. It's very easy to animate. And I uh, hope you guys can rate, comment, or even subscribe. Thank you.